Hey guys. Well, following the demise of my TBS wing a couple of weeks back um, and my goblin a few weeks before that, I, I've got to be honest, I think, I think that I've probably had a slight confidence knock with wings at launching them because I've just not been getting on with it. Um, I've no idea why, probably just worrying about my finger being chopped or something and I'm crashing. So I decided to tackle something slightly different as a replacement. Um, and what you can see here is the Valentix Ranger 747-4. Now, overall, this, this is a fantastic model. I've got the big two and a half meter Ranger. So I thought, well, the little one's kind of nice. And you'll, you'll notice one of the key things it's got some wheels on it and um, I guess where I'm aiming to get to is something that I can take off and land from the runway we have on hand. Um, and I'm sure you've seen in the footage we've got two kilometers of runway to play with so it kind of just makes sense to use that. You know I, I could sit back in my deck chair, I can strap myself to the head tracker and off I go, it's easy. Um, but yeah so th this is kind of the plan now. Looking at this model this has taken under an hour so far to get it to this point, which is, there's no FPV gear in it, there's nothing hooked up electronically, but the guts of it is actually done. Now, my end goal, I'm going to be putting a um, crossfire diversity on the back over here. I am then also going to rip this pod off, you know, so let me get this off if I can, there you go. So. This is the one part of this model I haven't been very happy with. Um, on all the other Ranger models, they provide you with a platform, which you can then put your camera and everything, so you can get your head tracker and all that stuff working. Whereas on this, we've kind of got a canopy and that's about it. And, you know, I, I guess their aim is that you put the camera here, but I like flying with a head tracker. I think with a wing like this, being able to look around and look down as you come into land, makes all the difference. So, um, yeah. But that's a minor annoyance, but um, I've kind of decided to solve this with a little platform. Um, if you guys remember the old um, Skywalkers, they used to come with a plywood tray which would kind of fit in. Well, I'm, I'm doing a similar thing with 3D printed parts which will all pop in and kind of go in and give me a little pan tilt camera on the top. So that's in its early days of design. I spent um, a bit of time on that this morning and yesterday evening. And as you can see from the picture here, it's very basic. I have a printout underway at the moment and hopefully it will kind of do the job in its prototype fits. And by the end of this weekend, I might actually have a fully assembled unit. So, but then again, maybe not because the way with these 3D printed things, if I've mismeasured by a millimeter, it's back to another two hour print. So we'll see. But um, yeah, this is, this is the end plan. I think it's quite a pretty plan. It, Potentially as a flight time, you know, the 4,000 milliamp pack, I reckon I could easily get an hour in the air with this. We're talking 1.3 meters wingspan. It's nice. Um, it's a very cute little plane. Um, and on the plus side, what I've also done is my mate Byron has got one too. So the idea we're going to have in a couple of weeks is that the two of us are going to be able to do some formation, takeoff, landing, and really just get some nice air-to-air -air footage. Um, Maybe even if I, if I get to it, I might even mount the 360 camera up top here for some even more interesting footage. So we'll see, but that's that's all up and coming. So I'm hoping that give or take seven days, you guys will get to see this plane fly. Enjoy, have a good weekend, cheers.